Hostile takeovers are back in style. Why should you care? Well, it's an opportunity to make a ton of money as an investor. I remember from my investment banking days when I did the internship that the standard premium on an acquisition is about 20% above market price. As we will see, some of the examples in this video are far greater than that, so stay tuned and listen in on this short-term th trend that I believe we will see more of in the market today, namely the hostile takeover. Now, the hostile takeover is not something new. It's just the unprompted, unwelcomed, uninvited, however you might call it, bid for the acquisition of a company. So the board of directors does not want it, the shareholders might not want it in the beginning, but they just get a bid nonetheless. This was extremely popular back in the 80s and Carl Icahn was the poster boy for this. In fact, I made a video about his investing career that you can check out in this channel. However, it certainly went out of style later on as defenses became more sophisticated with law firms helping applying something called a poison pill and diluting shares so it's harder to just buy up a large stake and make this type of deal happen. However, in the wakes of financial crises and recessions when stock market has been sliding for a long term time and prices are very cheap, well, we see this type of behavior coming back. As a matter of fact, in the aftermath of the financial crisis of 08, we saw, for example, InBev by Anheuser-Busch, the beer company. We also saw Kraft by Cadbury, the chocolate company. And this is a opportunity for these larger companies to buy out competition, to buy some sort of patent that they might want, some intellectual property, and just make excellent deals in the market since these larger companies tend to sit on big cash reserves. We see, for example, Microsoft acquisition of Blizzard, just an acquisition in this case, but nonetheless a great opportunity to deploy the cash and buy assets on the cheap. Now, a recent example of a hostile takeover that just you know, slid through in media, it was not labeled as such, was Elon Musk, the tech billionaire, buying Twitter. In this case, unprompted, unwelcomed, just made an offer for Twitter stock with quite a premium. There was some panic in the leadership in the beginning, threatening to dilute. And after some discussion with shareholders, they eventually welcomed the offer since it was such a big premium and shareholders was very happy with it. So in the end, they basically forced him to buy. However, this is just an example of the current trend. The current trend with the cheap companies, the big companies with large cash reserve, and how does this tie into us as investors? Well, remember in the beginning of the video, this 20% premium that we generally tend to see on acquisition offers, well, they tend to be a bit higher on the hostile acquisitions. So if you're looking at companies, you want to buy in some, well, then perhaps you can look at some companies that are very cheap now and that would be ideal targets for acquisitions with current low prices and you can speculate on this and try to make a quick 20 something percent. It's a fun way of gambling on short term trends. I think that it fits very well in with the Wall Street bets type of style in investing. It's also worth mentioning that it can be a trap for the more long term investors. For example, if you continue to buy into a company, you diversify over time, you buy at four, you buy at three, you buy at three and a half, you buy at two, you buy at 2.2, and then all of a sudden there comes this tender offer at 2.8, and it's below the general acquisition value that you put into the stock. But nonetheless, you are forced to sell since the offer comes through, it's you know 20% higher than the current market rate and 
directors and investors in the end end up approving because this company that's acquiring the smaller one just keeps on amassing shares and the offer is voted through. I remember, for example, uh, Hueng LNG, a company that I bought a lot of shares in and wanted to hold for a long time as it kept going up. But then a larger shipping company just came in, they made the offer, the offer went through. I think there was a majority stake held in the company by one of the owners of the larger company that was acquiring as well. So as a small investor, we don't really have a choice in these matters. The acquisition is going to happen whether we like it or not, and thus the definition of the hostile takeover, basically. So be aware of this comeback of the hostile takeover. I think we're going to see a lot more of it with current oversold stock market, a lot of cheap companies out there, a lot of larger companies hungrily eyeing their competition. And I think that we're going to see a lot of articles in the news, a lot of tender offers in the months that are coming. Why now? Well, because recent Fed announcement regarding interest rate was to keep it steady. And if you're doing the calculations on a leveraged buyout, well, it's kind of nice to know, give or take, the interest cost that you're going to be burdened with for buying out this company so with a more stable interest rate it's easier to make the financial models it's easier to make a case for a hostile acquisition internally and uh, thus it will just manifest itself into the real world as well from the models all right that's been it for this video and as always hope you guys make a ton of money whatever investments you decide to make take care now bye bye